Well, good morning, guys, and welcome back to another Subi Shares video with me and Sophie San. Today, guys, we've got a special treat for everybody here today. It's it's gonna be epic. It's gonna be mind blowing. I don't even know how to begin, guys. It's a Thursday. Uh, welcome to the channel, friends, newcomers, everybody. Thank you for clicking into my link and joining me here today. Holy cow, guys! Lots happened. Lots happened. Uh, I got a package from my buddy. I call him the Shave Dad. Uh, his name is Jeremy, and he's been a contributor to my uh, collection. Not only my collection, but my shave journey since like a long time ago, right? Way before the channel. The channel was actually like 60% his idea. He was like, I'm tired of reading all your nonsense on all these different places. Go make a channel. And he's like, it'd be so much easier for you to be able to show us what you're doing rather than trying to explain it in text format. A lot of this was Jeremy's idea even. He's the guy that got me to try a straight razor first time. He's kind of, like I told him, he's kind of become my shaved dad, right? I've got Tarl, who's like my cool uncle, right? He's always getting me in trouble and like, <laughs> you got to do this and do this. Getting me in trouble with the wife. Jeremy's like the cool dad that takes me under his wing. And he's like, you got to try this. And today, guys, Jeremy took me under his wing. And we let, he's letting me run and use a red ring eclipse razor, guys. Holy freaking cow right take a look at this guys red ring written right across the side of it absolutely beautiful guys this is one of those razors if you if, if you're coming in and you're new and you're like i don't understand this this is one of those razors that is known it's renowned for being a collector's holy grail this is one of those razors that most people wouldn't use it would sit and be adorned with attention and love and admired and it would not ever ever see lather it's like one of those razors that i feel guilty even running through um stubble i'm not gonna lie to you guys and i'm not a person that believes in trophy things like trophy brushes or trophy razors but this is really something special guys it is a chromium plated from 19 uh, 33 the patent was 32 it's made in sheffield england it was made in Sheffield, England, um, and it was made by a company, J. Nil and Companies, the people that you know took over the, the, the patent copyright. But the Eclipse Company guys produced this razor, and it used to have a ring that ran across the side of it, and that's where it would get its name, Red Ring. And it was a, a concept that was designed as being an open comb, closed comb styled head, guys. And you guys can see, it's similar to the R41 in that fact that the blade sits on top of an open comb, but it's also close. It's a closed bar. It's very interesting, and you guys can tell that it has a lot of gap in there, guys. Lots of gap. This is known for being extremely efficient and still fairly comfortable on the skin. Um, I'm really excited to use this. I am shocked. It came in yesterday, and I was like, don't, what? I couldn't, like, like tell him not to send me this, and then but it was already here, you know what I mean? It came in a box, and I was just, I was like, I don't I don't even know what to do. And he's like, just use it. Just go ahead, use it on the channel. Tell us what you think. So today, guys, I want to do it two ways. I'm going to do this with the two blades, Subi sandwiched together, right? Like I always do. But I'm also going to do it with a single blade with one side cut off, guys. So it'll still have only one blade edge, but it will retain the little inserts, okay? That way you guys can see me actually shave with the blade, with just, you know, going right over the pins. And guys, I still will line the blade up, even when that happens, because I've seen it be unadjusted before. Uh, you watch today, it'll probably be unadjusted and need a, a adjustment of eye straightening up, even with the pins being sat down. It's, it's millimeters, but I usually adjust it regardless. Guys, holy cow, we're doing it! It's like, it's like your father-in-law comes in with like a McLaren and hands you the keys and he's like, eh, take it out for a few spins, you know, keep it for the weekend. <laughs> this is crazy. I just, I have so much excitement in my, my heart. I could barely sleep last night. I was like, come on, stubble, grow back so I can knock you down. Oh my freaking goodness, guys. Holy cow. Grill relic. This is the treasure trove of the, of the DE world, right? So much effort goes into getting one of these razors, similar to what a Darwin, right? Is to a lot of people. And I, I think the Darwins are amazing. They're beautiful. 
But guys, this is in its own category for me. Just absolutely, I love the writing on the side. It's a light razor, it's only 62 grams. It is the same length identically to the old type. If you look at these, they look very, very similar, very similar. You get a little bit more length from this bottom piece, but usable space for me is pretty much spot on with a single ring. Um, this is a two piece razor guys. And it is, as I said before, completely, um, it's, it's adjustable with a toggle. You actually will spin it left or right to adjust aggressiveness. So today guys, what I've done is I've completely tightened her down. Um, and then I'm going to loosen it up like just a quarter turn, like I always do. And we're going to give that a test out today on a dome shave. We're going to do a head shave and I'm going to be using this razor a little bit more than like I use my other ones. Like, cause this can't, this isn't stay guys. So I'm going to send it back home. So I'm going to use it for a few days and we're going to do some cool shaves with the red ring razor, just because it's such a novelty. It's such a rarity. It's such a thing that so many of us would just dream to get a chance to handle. And I'm being so careful, guys. <laughs> I'm shaking. I mean, my, my adrenaline's going crazy. And I'm excited to show you guys for a head shave. We're going to see how it does on a dome shave. Guys, today, my buddy also said, so today we're going to be walking a mile in Jeremy's shoes. That's why I texted him this morning. I was like, we're walking a mile in your shoes, buddy. He sent me Zingari Man. This is Socialite. It's a lime gin kind of smell. It's like a gin and tonic, essentially. And it's got menthol to it, guys. I know that some people do not like this scent. There's something about this scent that's polarizing for people. I love it. It's another one of those lime forward with a boozy undertone, similar to like gin and tonic, but like just way, like just lime. Instead of like a, like instead of a ginger, imagine that being lime and you get those other aspects, but this is cooling. It's such a good scent. And I know, I know I've met a lot of people that are like, ah, it's a I like this scent a lot, guys. It reminds me similar to, the sea spice and lime, just a little less sweet, you know, from Seaforth. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pair it with Seaforth, sea spice and lime, the splash guys. And that is from Seaforth and this is Zingari Man. I don't know if I meant Zingari Man. Absolutely fantastic soap, cooling aspects, great. And we're gonna be adding the EDT on top of that just to really bring out the lime. We're gonna be using for the pre-shave, we're using the um, shave cream. It's, it's just a, it's this sage and citrus guys from Cremo. I'm just using it as a pre-shave today because I have no idea what this is going to do. I've heard so many different things ah, and we're going to be rocking the chill mill guys. I already added this to my water and it's my hack, right? That is, I love doing that. I did it as a kid. My mom would use menthol crystals and hot water when we were sick, it opens up your sinuses. So I just take a little bit of PAH chill mill, grind it in my sink, hot water. And it fills my bathroom up with this beautiful scent. And you can see Sophie actually likes it. My dog comes in. She's like, Oh, because it like open up, uh, opens up your sinuses. It's kind of a fun, I really like it. And we added it to our chill mill, uh, the, the chill mill to the bowl too. And check this out, we're using Jeremy's bowl and brush. He sent me both. This Jeremy guy, guys. Everybody needs somebody like Jeremy in the wet shaving uh, experience that just gets you hooked on all sorts of things. And I apologize, my morning is gonna be crazy today. Check this out, guys. Oh, look at this, the beautiful. And this is a CUM brush that Jeremy sent me. I did not own a Badger brush at the time. I was new to the craft and I had done it on the cheap, right? Everything I owned was synthetic. It was all price effective. And he's like, you gotta have a Badger. You gotta have a Badger. So he sent me his CUM Badger in green. He's like, what's your favorite color? I was like, green. I'll send you, I'll send you a Badger in green. And I love this brush, guys. I love this brush. And the bowl, the bowl is from Symmetric Pottery. I use it every day. You guys know, you guys are regulars here. You know, I love my Symmetric Pottery bowl. You guys go ahead and give that a smell. And you guys tell me, what do you think? Bubbles? You got some bubbles in there? I don't see no bubbles. Ah, I, I know we don't talk about lather, but I'm just so happy. This smells so good. I love Socialite from Zingari Man. I think it is my favorite scent from Zingari Man. Out of everything I've smelled from them, I've smelled Wanderer. I've smelled her leather one. I have the Watchman. Um, I have the Watchman set. I have a lot. I have a few of her sets, guys. The, the Socialite's my favorite. It just kind of matches me. The citrusy, boozy, reminds me of the weekend. I love it. All right, let's get our shave going. Today, we're going to load the blade, like I said, two different ways. And guys, don't worry. Today was worth getting out my Tomei legendary coffee mug. It has that old school vintage Subaru with the vintage Eclipse razor because I love Subarus, right? We got Subi shaves. 
I'm a Subaru kind of guy, and I busted out my legendary coffee mug today. That's just for this shave. I've only ever busted out one other time. One other time for the um, the gem damasking open comb. So to me, guys, in this, this definitely, out, I think it's just one step above. One step in the epicness. In the epic charts of Subi shaves. Holy cow, guys. All right. I hope this is making your morning because it's making mine. Let's go below. Let's go to the Subi hat cam angle and see how we're going to load this up for a shave. Take a look at this, guys, on the Subi hat cam angle with the red ring eclipse razor, guys. Up close and personal. I am doing my utmost best effort here to give you guys a very steady close shot of this absolutely stunning piece of history, guys. Just absolutely stunning piece of history that I was so kindly um, allowed to demo by my buddy. And today we're gonna be loading it, guys. We're gonna go below and I'm gonna show you how we're gonna do that today. We're going to unscrew this bottom toggle. The toggle down here, guys, is actually um, set. It's free floating, so it doesn't come all the way out. But what you end up happening, have happening, guys, is as you unscrew, the head will release and you just pull it out, like kind of like an old type. And that turns out, right, like kind of like a single ring, but instead you only have a two-piece razor instead of a three-piece, guys, because this piece on the bottom, it actually stays in. And these barrels are usually cracked, but my good buddy Jeremy's is in absolutely beautiful condition. All right, so we're going to get this thing loaded up two different ways today. I'm going to show you how we're going to do it today, guys. The first way is... We're going to cut the tabs off of a DE razor blade, just like I've done here. I just cut the tabs like 75% off with skizzes, some Subi eye skizzes, and remove the blade, guys. Cut the blade right off. And the reason I'm doing this quickly is because I want to get to the actual razor part of the shaving, not so much the blade loading. But you guys can see that blade loads perfectly right on top of those pins. And it actually, because um, I, I removed the tabs, there's no overhang. And you would just slide that butt right on there and you would screw it together. Now, people have mentioned, other people in other reviews have mentioned that these um, open comb, closed comb kind of teeth where the blade sits, guys. And you guys can see my blade's not fully seated. So I'm going to grab a box, uh, a blade box, guys. And I'm just going to make sure everything's lined up. And keep in mind that is with the on the posts. I, I just always line up my blades. I'm very meticulous about lining my blades up even when they are inside of the razor seated. So there we go. You guys can see how beautiful this razor is. And the way that the blade sits on those teeth, guys. So I was mentioning, people have mentioned that it becomes very effective and efficient at chopping down hair. And I, I believe, too, if you look at it, it really does have a lot of gap, even though that gap is covered by the closed comb portion. Um, I really can see where this is going to be an efficient beast. And, guys, this does have an adjustment mechanism, right? They called it the micrometer. But really, it's just you let off and on, right? It's It's got a little bit of, it's got a lot more adjustment in it than like an old type because of how long those threads are and how the way it connects inside. But it's still maybe not as adjustable as something like a fat boy, right? It's a good concept that obviously caught on later on. Okay, so we've got those blades, sing, uh, or one blade in there. I'm going to show you how we're going to do it the other way, guys. I'm going to do it two ways today, and we're going to kind of do a battle against itself. We're going to take Subi's blades, guys. Two blades, broken in half, um, snapped in half, guys. And what I learned with this razor is it's easier to load like this. It's so much easier with the red ring if you want to try it with two blades stacked to just load it like that and have the blade sitting up and then screw it together. So much easier if you want to try it with two blades stacked. And again, that's going to make it so your blades have a little bit more rigidity. It's going to produce a completely different skin fill. And for me, guys, I've, I've done it with almost all my razors. I really like the way it feels. And today we're going to compare and see, does it really make that much of a difference? And I left the tabs on so you guys can see how much overhang the wings or the tabs have if they're not cut off. And that gives you guys also an idea of how narrow this head cap is. Right, a lot of people coming from a Merker Fooder or something like an R41, because the cap is similar to an R41, right, with it being open and closed, uh, closed bar style. Um, it is a lot more narrow than those razors. Absolutely beautiful, absolutely stunning piece of history right here, and we're gonna go shave. Come with me. From the Subi hat cam angle, I hope that's helpful. I hope that's really cool for you guys. It almost gets you guys close enough where you could touch. 
the Red Ring Eclipse Razor, right? That's why I like to do it kind of too, because it gives you guys a different perspective. And guys, while I'm lathering up, I wanted to mention, my buddy Jeremy didn't only send me, you know, things to try out on channel. He also sent me an organizer for my razors, for my uh, countertop. And I didn't own one of those. I've never owned one of those. Um, kind of like a beautiful piece that it sets out in as a display piece. And I am so far from being a woodworker, guys. It's not even funny. I've tried my hand at it several times. I worked in a cabinet shop for my entire collegiate career to pay for bills. But I wouldn't consider myself anything like a craftsman, right? Jeremy is, and he sent me this beautiful, um, beautiful display piece. And below, guys, I'm going to uh, have it running while I'm lathering up. So you guys can kind of see this beautiful, beautiful um, display piece that he made me. Just out of the goodness of his heart, guys. I know, like I said, the shave dad, right? And I hope to one day be a shave dad to someone else, right? That's my goal. Even if it is my own child, guys. I would just like to be, the, you know, to, to show somebody else like Jeremy has showed me. I've had so many cool opportunities to use things, try things, because of friends, guys. And I think that's what's really cool about the craft. I know, total cheesy moment here. I love the craft, guys, because you get to meet people and make friends. Making friends as an adult is so much more difficult than when you're younger. Tell me it's not, guys. It's way more difficult. And it's not like you go to a bar to meet friends. You know, it's not like you're going to bumble to a bar to meet friends. As an adult, for some reason, it's just, it's, it's really difficult. And I feel like the craft kind of puts you into a, a place where you have similar interests and, and likes. And that your expenditures are going to the similar places, right? It's always funny to me when I reach out and I'm like, I found this thing. And somebody in the craft is like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That cost me like three days of sleeping on the couch to buy one. And my wife always tells me, guys, my wife always tells me, I can have anything I want if I want to sleep in my neighbor's backyard and not be married anymore. She's like, sure, go ahead and get one. You won't be around anymore, but you'll have that great thing. So I, I know we all kind of get that concept and we all kind of laugh about it. And I love that camaraderie that comes with wet shaving. Guys, we have that lather, um, the pre-shave thrown up on the dome. And we are going for the head shave. And I'm doing a head shave too, guys. Partially because I looked all over the place and I hadn't seen somebody use a red ring eclipse razor on the dome. I have no idea how this is going to go. I have no clue, guys. <laughs> this may be brutal. I may be walking away, but I, I just feel strongly that a good shaver, right? A respectable shaver should be able to get away with shaving with just about anything from any era um, in any place. So we're going to find out if that concept is actually true for me. And my lather today is just on point. I am very happy with this um, Zungari Men that Jeremy sent me. I really like the scent, guys. The scent's absolutely fire for me. And I like that cooling aspect to it. The cooling, even with a little bit additional from PAA's Chill Mill, so good. And we're grabbing a alum stick, guys, today. That's not because this is slippery. It's to really ensure my grip is good because I want to make sure to be very careful. I told Jeremy I was going to shave sitting down. I was like, I didn't even want to do it. It's like I had to shave sitting down. All right, so this is with the two stacked blades, guys. And you guys can see the tabs are hanging out like I showed you guys on the hat cam angle. So this is the two blades stacked, guys. And I'm just going to double check. Everything is perfect and lined up and excellent, which it is. Make sure it's, 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 it's just like I said, I've never used this, so I have no idea what I'm getting myself into. Holy cow, it's beautiful, it's exquisite. It is very interesting the way that the blades um, go across that guard, guys. I'm just making sure everything it's it just it, it's definitely interesting. It's so fascinating the way those blades sit, it's kind of like an optical illusion of where your blades actually are. I feel like. Very weird, very weird, very cool. All right, all right, let's see how it does. I, like I said, this is pretty, I, I don't wanna hurt the razor, so it's still a little bit loose. I didn't tighten it all the way down. We're gonna go in and we're gonna see how this does. Oh, this is gorgeous. The chromium plating, guys, it's chromium plated on this razor. You can actually feel it's very smooth. Very smooth. Wow. Just go ahead and see how it feels against the grain straight. Wow, it's super nice. It's mild. I don't know, like I heard a lot of people say there's a lot of blade fill to this. 
I feel like this is fairly mild. It's extremely smooth. It feels to me like, honestly, guys, I hate to say this, it's as smooth as my tech. It's like, and that, and that's like a compliment. Like, I, my my tech is my smoothest. In my opinion, it's one of the smoothest. Um, the pre war tech is is one of my smoothest razors, and this definitely outshines that. Wow, I am just, I am baffled with how smooth this feels. Wow, guys, for a head shave, the, I think the biggest problem is that there's not enough of these to go around. That is the problem with this razor, guys. There's not enough in the world to go around because this is amazing. Holy cow, guys. And again, this is the double stack blades. And this is kind of how I prefer to shave my head. It really reduces chatter for me. And I feel like it also is going to put those blades a little bit thicker, right? And make them a little bit more similar to how they would have been when this razor is being produced. Dude, this is nice. I'm actually going to open her up a little bit more to see what we can do with it. What? What? <laughs> That's fantastic. It's super nice, guys. The angle is extremely easy to find. It's a little bit different. It's probably uh, 28 degrees. It feels a little bit um, more shallow than the 30 degrees of standard. And there we go, guys. We are BBS. We are full BBS on that side. Beautiful, easy, extremely comfortable. Just gonna make sure I hit that trouble spot one more time, because I really wanna compare the two styles, guys. Oh my goodness, it's like a massage for my skin. It does feel exfoliating. I heard somebody say it feels exfoliating and it really feels like, I don't know, these the way that the comb meets the blade, guys, it almost feels like it is like kind of stretching the skin out a little bit and wow. Yeah, it's it's fantastic. It's, it's absolutely fantastic. Guys, we're gonna move this lather over and we're gonna switch the blade over really quickly. And I'll pause this and bring this other part in this other video. I just wanted to make it so you guys have to watch as I loaded. But it, this has got the single blade guys in it that's been trimmed that we did earlier. And we're just going to start going right over. I can instantly feel that the blade definitely has changed in um, where it's sitting. Definitely can feel it. It's much different. I definitely got myself right here. Bug bite. I think the double stacking for me tends to make the razor a little bit more forgiving, guys. We're gonna the red ring takes blood on my uh, bug bite. Oh, this is fan freaking tastic though, guys. The single blade in there definitely changes the way that this fills. Definitely changes the way that this fills on the skin. For me. I still prefer the double stacked, but the single blade definitely helps create kind of a different shaving angle, guys. A different shaving angle and a different skin feel. There's not chop chatter problems. It's just kind of a different feel to it. Wow, really nice, really good shave. My fault on the bug bite, I totally forgot I had a bug bite on my head from taking the dog out. But you guys can see, I'm getting a lot of efficiency with just the width of grain pass, guys. This is just the width of grain pass. Wow, yeah, that's really nice. Really sweet. Can't believe it got me once, guys. Got me. Got me. Okay. 
I still like the other, the dual stack better, guys. I'm still a fan of the dual stack. Just works really good for me. Okay, we're going across now. Okay, just to uh, make sure I get my full three passes in before we swap it over. Okay. You guys can see. We got lots off. We did have one small little problem. One small little problem. That I felt too as I went over and I'm like, oh, the bug bite got me. Yeah, bug bite, man. Got it. Well, it's not a bug bite anymore, right, guys? I always, I actually like shaving my head for that reason. When I get a bug bite, it's like, oh, it lasts a day. <laughs> and then the bug bite's gone. We're going to grab a little bit of aloe. We're just going to make sure that that goes away really quick. It's not bad. It's not a bad one at all. Okay. We are smooth as it goes. Smooth as it goes. Okay. Let's switch it over, guys. Let's switch it over and run the blade now, the single side, over where we did the um, double blades and see if it's closer. I still like the, the dual side, uh, dual blades more. I can already tell on my skin I like the dual more. But let's just go ahead and see how it works. Let's just go ahead and see how it works. All right, here we go. Really quick against the grain. Man, this is cool. Check it out. None. No stubble coming off. So this kind of shows, I just wanted to see if it's less efficient or more efficient with the two blades in it. Because I get that question a lot, guys. I get asked a lot, does it change efficiency? And for me, it is not changing the efficiency at all. Check it out. Okay. There we go. That is the full pass down the middle. No stubble in that lather at all. Smooth sailing. Smooth sailing. Really good shape. All right, so we're going to swatch that over now and do it with the dual side on this side now. And this side on this, it feels really close, so I don't think we're going to get anything off, but we're going to try it. Like I said, I like the dual blades a lot better in every razor I use. It's just preference for me, I guess, but I tend to like it better. I get better blade fill and I get better feedback. And I really like that it kind of reduces... Um, some of the the ch uh, chatter I get out of some really, really heavily um, exposed blades. Uh, razors that use a lot of the blade exposure, guys. All right, we're gonna go in. Cannot believe I got myself. I'm just, this is unfiltered, unedited, right? So that's this kind of what we're doing. You guys are gonna see it. But man, I cannot believe I got that bug bite. Should have done the double side on the bug bite side. Because then we wouldn't have had any issues whatsoever. I just get better feedback from this. There we go. And these are both brand new PermaSharp blades, guys. So we are testing this apples to apples. I get that question all the time. Which one's more efficient if you double stack or not double stack? You guys can see I went right over that bug bite, no problems. Using the double stack. I don't know. Double stack feels better for me. Okay, switch it over. Could just be a personal preference. You know, I've just gotten so used to it. That that part had a lot of stubble. And we're definitely getting stubble off. It's very fine. If you guys can see this. Up in that top of that comb. It's a very fine little amount of stubble. And I, do, I just think, I don't think it's going to, it's because this is more efficient. I just think I'm getting a better uh, blade fill from it. And I can feel where that blade is. And it feels a little bit more comfortable on my skin. Yeah, just a barely. Here, you guys can see. I don't know if you guys are getting that on camera. It's barely. So I'm actually getting a little bit more efficiency with my dual stack blades and a little bit more comfort with the dual stack blades. 
just the thing I like to do. It's like I said, it's it's been a trick that's worked really well for me over the past, I don't know, 100 videos. <laughs> and so um, for me, I, I still think I'd go with the dual stack even on the Red Ring Eclipse. Even though that's not how they would have manufactured or you know recommended it. We're testing it out here. We're seeing how it goes. Wow, it's nice. Grab a little bit of, um, there we go. A little bit of alum. <laughs> a little bit of alum here. Wow, yeah, really nice. Like I said, I got myself right here, just a little bit. That is a smooth shave with the red ring, guys. Red ring was fantastic. Definitely not as uh, scary as they, you know, a lot of people have made it out to be. Fantastic shave, guys. I am really looking forward to using this over the next couple of days. I'm going to be doing some things like, you know, kind of comparing it against some of the other razors of the, you know, the era. I think a fun one would be an old type single ring versus the red ring. But guys, for me, the double stacked blades is where the money is. That's where I got the best, I think, closeness and shave for me with the, the red ring. It's, it doesn't really so much tame it down as it just kind of makes that angle feel a little bit more natural in the razor. I don't know. For me, it just feels a little bit better on my skin. Thank you so much for being here, guys. I can't tell you how much I appreciate you, how much your support means to me, and how much everybody doing things like this makes the channel so it can keep going and keep making other days, for, uh, making other people's days better, right? That's the whole entire thing. We're in this to make other people smile and have good days. And if we can do that while we're shaving, it's a, it kills two birds with one stone. So thank you guys so much for being here. Oh, the lime in the bathroom, guys. Couldn't have been better with the red ring. Thank you guys so much. Have wonderful Thursdays. I will see you on a Friday.